Karen, do you have any update on Talkman? Um, <clears throat> he, he's he's getting an MRI, I think, tomorrow. Probably uh, head back to New York and see the doctor and, um, you know, see see the severity of it. But certainly, you know, a concern. Obviously, it didn't look good. What did he say to you when he came out? Calf. And uh, so, um, yeah, just a... a this calf tightened up on him, so we'll we'll see uh, we'll see what we got uh, hopefully by tomorrow. Tanaka did not go especially long tonight. What were you seeing from him out there? Um, it's like he struggled a little bit with the split, um, and then the, you know they started making him work uh, work pretty hard. You know they had a lot of long at bats against him. I just felt like it was a grind kind of get for him to get through the um, first two times through the order. Um, so just just. You know, not quite as sharp, but but able to keep us in the game there, and not well, not only keep us in the game, but leave leave with a lead there. And I just felt like, with the lineup turning over again, um, and, and just how you know how hard he was he was having to work to get through some of those hitters, felt like uh, we we're set up to to line up how we did. Why do you think he's labored a little bit the last two times out? It seems like it's been, even though the team has been able to come through, that it, it's been a struggle for him. Well, I, I I mean, I look at it big picture over, you know, the last, uh, you know, really over the last month, six weeks, where I feel like for the most part, he's been really sharp and really good. So I feel like he's in a, he's in a good place throwing the ball. And, uh, you know, and you know, he pitched tonight in a game that we won, so it wasn't perfect, but um, I feel like overall, uh, you know, as we have a few weeks left here in the regular season, I feel like he's uh, he's in a good spot. You push green a little bit more than you typically do. Do you anticipate doing that more down the stretch here? Well, it was just because he was so pitch efficient. Um, you know, it was part of the reason, you know, he had, had three days since his last outing. So, you know, felt like he was rested and certainly able to give us length. But the fact that he was so pitch efficient there um, and we knew we wanted Otto for the for the, you know, for bets at the top of the order there the next time around. But he just he was so efficient that we let him run a little bit there. And uh, he was terrific tonight in, in getting the ball uh, to the back end of the game. Put uh, Maben in for Talkman. He said the wrist issue had a couple good at bats. Is, is he your left fielder? Uh, Talkman's out for a while. Uh, yeah, he'll pro he'll he he'll play a lot, and we'll continue to monitor how he's doing. Um, but it was good to get him back in, and and for ha him to get a couple of at bats and get some immediate results. Um, you know, hopefully that's a good sign for Cam. Another big night for the labor is one of the things the most impressive is how he can. He seems to be able to hit any pitch and he adjusts within at bats. Yeah. Um, Glaber's smart. You know, he's he's a smart per, a smart guy, but he's he's a smart, instinctive baseball player, too. And I think as he's gained experience um, with understanding hitter or pitchers, what they're trying to do, you know, kind of his game plan, he processes things very well. And um, um, he's just you know what a lot of great players do he's able to do in, in, in making those not only game to game adjustments but even in game adjustments I think you said Talkman had been dealing with a, some banged up a little bit was was it the calf that was a problem the calf was a little bit of an issue for him but um, so um, so you know hopefully again we'll see what it is tomorrow and the severity of it hopefully it's not something too bad what do you think it is about your offense? Obviously, you guys are good players, but like that, I think you guys don't go through very extended stretches. Of, you know, two days ago, score one run, and then ten today. You know, like yeah, you know, <clears throat> today was today was really good to see because I, I felt like we were heavy again. You know, uh, uh, when when you play us, you know, my goal is always, you know, when you're facing our offense, I, I want you to feel it. You know, and uh, today I felt like that was the case. Like I felt like we made it very difficult on them and obviously we got results today and it's not always necessarily a result thing whereas over the last couple of weeks you know we've been scoring some runs and having some success and obviously winning games and things but today felt like you know when we were kind of at our best and making it real difficult hitting the ball hard we hit into some hard outs today and and gave ourselves a lot of opportunities and and i thought the guys overall i thought they had a lot of great at bats tonight you guys set a single season record for homers tonight. I know people talk about the balls maybe this year, but you did it with outstanding Judge Liddell, a lot of big thumpers. Is that surprising at all? Uh, 
18 games to go and you have a new record already? I mean, I, yeah, I guess when you put it like that, um, you know, anytime you, I guess, break your own record and um, you've done it with a number of, of, of different guys, obviously, it, it's credit to them and, and, and Marcus and PJ and how they get them ready to go each and every night. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a big part of our offense.